If you're doing product research on Amazon for arbitrage or drop shipping, then you might be familiar with the source and software tactical arbitrage, but I would like to provide you with an alternative, which would be a Google sheet that I created. And I have a couple different Google sheets I created for product research on Amazon. But in this video, I'd like to just show you a few parts of this particular Google Sheet. But first, briefly, I'd like to mention why you might not want to use source and software such as this. Well, one big reason for a lot of people is the cost. As you can see, the monthly cost, you might not be prepared to pay this cost or might not be able to afford it or be comfortable or uh, whatever your reason is when it comes to the cost. Another reason is the number of sites. Though it looks like a large number of sites, being over 1,000 sites on tactical arbitrage, if you look within the U.S., that's just 542 sites within the U.S. alone. I can tell you that there are way more online stores out there than the sites that are actually on tactical arbitrage. For instance, even on a cashback site like Rake It In, they have 300, uh, 3,000 different online stores on here. I know because I scraped off their list of stores and it was over 3,000 stores. Okay, so there are way more online stores than what they have here on Tactical Arbitrage. However, using this Google Sheet I created or these Google Sheet systems, you can really technically use them with any supplier. You're not limited to a particular supplier. The reason is that these Google Sheets do not connect to suppliers at all. So this one, for instance, the way it works is I go onto Amazon and I do a search. So for instance, if I'm searching uh, home and kitchen, I'll show you. Um, now, this is a very general way of using it and I do show more specific ways in my videos. But if I wanted to do just home and kitchen in general, you could use a minus and random letters, which is what I typed in here. And that will just give you like random products in that department. All right. I then use a free Chrome extension, which is called Instant Data Scraper, and that pulls all the data off. And I bring that data into the Google Sheet. Now, I show you how to do all that in more detail in other videos. In this video, I'm just showing you the overview. So don't worry about the details of how I do that just yet. I just want you to see what this does. So basically what I then do is I get the URLs in here, and I get the titles, and I get the prices. Now, there is a software called Keepa that you can use as well, and I do use that as well. And that will get you even more Amazon data. But for this video, I'm just showing you like the way to do it without Keepa. All right. Um, once I get that data in here, there's a get ASINs button that I use to actually put the ASINs in next to the links. And it's just taking the ASINs from the Amazon URLs. But it's important to know that when you scrape a page through, uh, using a free Chrome extension, some of these products are not actually really products. There are a few links in here that are not products and that's why the ASINs will not show up on those okay but anyway uh, I want to spare you the details of this and just kind of show what it mainly does which is that it takes your product titles and searches them on the web and then it finds sources potential sources okay now you do have to keep in mind it is not using barcodes there are no UPCs here there's no there's no UPC here these are just titles okay so it's literally just doing a basically a Google search, if you will, on these product titles. So it's like a manual search. And then it is just dropping the links in on the page. Okay. Um, when you do a very general search of Amazon, you're going to get a lot of Walmart links, of course, because a lot of those products are in common between Amazon and Walmart. Okay. They're shared between the two sites. So that's common, but you're going to see some other suppliers as well. You do see some target in here as well. Um, but I show you in other videos how you can kind of gear the sourcer, gear this, uh, your search really on Amazon towards certain suppliers. And I do that like with the different brands. OK, so I use different brand names to try to gear or the target certain uh, suppliers. All right. So, um, again, those are details I show in other videos. Now, basically what happens is it builds up all these sources next to these products. Right now, as I speak, it is still running and finding sources of products okay and so i show you the details of how to make that more continuous all right using the menu options and the buttons that are in front of you but what happens is when you generate a products list it actually takes all the amazon product urls with their asins and the titles and the prices and it puts the sources that it finds the potential sources right next to the products and what happens is that I have already built in here calculation uh, profit calculations. Okay, they're already built in for you. 
okay um the few things i now i'm actually uh this is a copy i'm actually working on and fixing things on so you might see something where for instance you see the word notes here that doesn't belong here uh but i'm literally like working on this copy right now so um i'm gonna make it a little better and then re-release it uh it'll be you know the most updated version uh so that when you download it you get the most recent version okay so basically um what happens here is that you need to get the prices, the shipping, and the stock in here uh, for all these different products. So you can calculate the cost by putting in like tax. As you can see, I have a default 10% tax. You can change it if you want, right? And so basically what happens is that I use a software to do that. Now you could manually sit here and type in these prices, but it will take very long. And you know, you might not come across a profitable product for a long time doing that, quite honestly, okay? So really, I mean, I'm not going to say that you must use this, but this is going to make a huge difference. This is SKU Grid. I have a link if you want to try the seven, get have a seven day free trial of this program. And uh, again, in my other videos, I show you how to actually use this. But basically what this Google Sheet does is it creates like a CSV like this, a list that you can download of all the, these different sources and you bring them into SKU Grid. SkewGrid is able to actually pull out all of the data, as you can see, for these products, like the price, the shipping, even the stock status. All that stuff is pulled in by SkewGrid, and then I'm able to then take that data, download it, and bring it back to the Google Sheet. So uh, the Google Sheet is able to like extract that data, and that's how I get all the prices, the shipping, and the stock in here. Okay, so all of that uh, to say that then it's able to calculate some profit okay uh products that might be profitable then really the final thing is really using these filters which are this is built into google sheets this is part of google sheets you just go to data and you use a filter and you can add a filter to the sheet but i'll probably have it on there already and you go to roi uh and you look for you know you can use filter by color because i've already colored them but normally what you would want to do is by condition and then you would do like greater than or equal to right and for instance you know i'm going to say greater than or equal to five percent roi or something like that and basically this is what it turns up right now these are the two i have i haven't finished pulling in the data for the products so right now there's only two products that have found so far so as i pull in more data i can find more products but just as a quick example i'll open up this product as an example so you can kind of get an idea um here's a product that it found well, I scraped from Amazon with the Chrome extension, and here's the source that the Google Sheet found for this product, and the price was pulled in with SKU Grid, so the formulas in my Google Sheet calculated that this is profitable, and we do see it's $29.98 at Home Depot, while it is $58.85 on Amazon, so that does look uh, like a profitable item. And then of course, you could account for the, sh the method that you're using, the shipping you're going to pay, or the FBA fee, or if you're drop shipping, how is it going to, how much it's going to cost you to ship it to the customer, right? And so, um, actually, I'm going to have ROI and profit. I'm actually working on this part right now, which is why it's kind of off a little. So, I'm actually going to have profit. This is actually another profit column. And this is probably going to be like a fill by merchant profit. Um, and then you have the FBA profit. So you have like two different profits. Okay, so FBA and FBM. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make that change. Okay, and then you'll have like an ROI formula here as well. So you'll be able to compare to fulfilled by merchant as well as fulfilled by Amazon profit on these items. Um, I explained a bit more in my other videos, as I said, uh, as far as like fees and how to work with the fees and all of that. So this is like an alternative. Um, I'm going to remove the filter, put it back to how it was. Um, and if you want to put it back, you just click like I did on the row. You just go data, create a filter. And the filter will come back. And that will put the filter back up top. But basically, uh, just an overview of how this works. Um, what you are basically doing is you are just in a nutshell. I'll just explain it overall. You're going to Amazon unless you're using Keepa to pull the products. You're going to Amazon, you're searching for products, you're using a free Chrome extension to pull product titles, prices off, and links. You're bringing them to the Google Sheet. The Google Sheet, the sourcing sheet, 
and then it's finding sources of the products and then it's building a list of the sources and the Amazon products then you're taking the sources you're bringing them to skew grid to get the prices and everything of the sources and the stock and then you're bringing that uh, into uh, hair and then it's calculating the profit on the products right and then you can look through and see the ones that are profitable okay and uh, basically the more data you pull and the more you keep um, getting the data the more products you'll be able to find it's a numbers game okay it's a numbers game most products are not profitable that's how it is when it comes to arbitrage okay and drop shipping so you have to go through a large number of products before you get to a good one so this is very different from using something like tactical arbitrage tactical arbitrage is literally going to do everything that i just explained but like way faster it's going to just scan products give you the profit you know find the ones that are profitable it's, it's just you know it, it but that's why it costs what it costs because what many people don't realize is that data costs money the data access that tactical arbitrage has the ability to provide a platform to a large number of users thousands of users however many users they have to be able to you know all the api they have to use to directly connect to suppliers and pull data that stuff costs money and that is why uh these prices are what they are it's not anyone that anyone's trying to rob you this is really it costs a lot of money to run the software okay google sheets on the other hand this costs me like much less it costs me more time than anything else okay more than anything else it costs me time to do this all right to make videos even to explain it to develop it the coding the testing all of that it takes me a lot of time right so basically you have no monthly subscription to use this because there's no monthly like platform cost for me to do this right so you get your own copy you're copying a google sheet it's originally mine and then you're making a copy now it's your copy of your google sheet right and then you just use it okay so there's no monthly subscription for this right this is a totally different uh setup here okay so that's basically how this works uh what this is about i do have another tool but i have to explain this one like totally separately this works in the opposite direction where you go to the supplier first and you scan the products from the supplier you scrape them with the same chrome extension and then it finds the products on amazon instead and then you get the Amazon prices and you get the profit. So it's like the same idea in the opposite direction. Okay, that's called the uh, Amazon Matcher. Okay, so that's another, uh, that's my other Google Sheet for Amazon product research. So these are alternatives. Again, in another, other videos, if you're confused and you're like, oh, that was a lot and I didn't get it, well, that's fine because I break down how to actually use these step by step in my other videos. This, this is just a gene very general overview of the Google Sheets. But all I can say is that, you know, if you're trying to do product research on Amazon, this is manual product research. It is going to be slower than using the sourcing softwares, but it's also going to be way cheaper if the money is an issue um, for you uh, as far as doing product research. Well, then, you know, this is something that you probably want to consider as another alternative. And I'm con constantly working on this, trying to improve it. I'm using it myself, as you can see literally i'm using it right now this is like my own scan that i'm running right now that i'm showing you kind of behind the scenes all right that i just started to scan okay so that's basically it i am mr mark uh you can contact me directly do check the description of this video for the links such as for your free trial of skewgrid if you want to do this or first of all to get the google sheets themselves and uh any other information or whatever else i have in the description of the video that i haven't added that yet of course because i'm recording the video and so go ahead and check all that stuff out. I'm Mr. Mark, and I look forward to either hearing from you or seeing you around the channel.